Hello, welcome to Make It At Home Pottery. I'm Fiona Boy and this is where you get to make it at home. And this video is part of the Halloween series. I have several videos where I show you how to make various things out of clay and you make them at home. Today's project is Halloween pumpkins. We're going to turn this into this. If you've received your pack from me, this is what you'll have. You'll have three balls of clay, you will have a paintbrush, you will have a pointy stick, and you'll have some instructions. We'll talk about the paint in the painting section. Uh, you will also need uh, some water, you will also need a mat to work on. Um, I've used here an old book bag, but you could also use an old dishcloth or an old uh, pillowcase, um, because it's much better to work on fabric than it is to work on newspaper. First thing we're going to do is make a double pinch pot. So you'll need to get your ball of clay and you want to break it into three parts. The easiest way to break is to twist. You'll twist once and that would be for the leaves and the bits and pieces. That's a much smaller piece. Then I'm going to break the remainder into another two pieces and again I'm twisting. So I've got here two equal parts. Now to make the pinch pot you're going to first of all pat it into a nice bowl. To make a pinch pot, you've got your ball and you've got your thumb. And you're going to pop your finger, your thumb into that hole. There you go. So it's like that. And then I'm going to go round and round and round and round, and I am getting it into an even dome shape. What you want is that the walls are the same thickness all the way around the sides and the bottom and you get it into a beautiful dome shape. You might want to be pulling the clay up a bit with your fingers and that will bring it up the sides until you end up with a nice hemisphere. To finish, give it a little tap and it looks like that. Now you want to do the same to the other piece. Now that you've got your two, ha your two halves, you'll need to cross hatch it or hashtag it. And what you're going to do is make little marks, little hashtags all the way around the outside. And you're going to do that all the way around this one and all the way around this one. Then you need to dab with water. You get your paintbrush and you get your water and you can go dab, dab, dab. So what this is doing is it's creating the glue the bond between the two pieces, and this is really important. Now you've got these two, you can add them together. So you're going to get it like a hamburger shape, and then what you're going to do is pinch it all the way around to create a very strong seal where they joined. Right, the next thing you want to do is to then create the folds in the pumpkin. So you know how a pumpkin has got those undulations? We're going to create them with our pointy stick. So we're going to find the top of our pumpkin. Where's a good top? There's a good top. And we're going to get our stick and we're going to just make marks in it like that. You could also use a ruler, a wooden ruler. And you're going in and you're creating segments into our pumpkin. Like that. Once you've drawn them on, you need to then get your finger and actually really work into that. Let's get your finger in here and just smooth those channels to create the lovely rounded, soft bumps on your It'll make it a lot more tactile too, much more beautiful to hold. Right. So that then, you can see there, it's a lot more happily ridged and a lot more pumpkin looking. I've got another one here that I've done. This one here is shorter and rounder. This one is taller and skinnier, probably more space for a face. Now what we need to do is get the stem. So we're gonna break off a piece and we're going to roll a teardrop size piece. So you can roll it on your mat or you can roll it in your fingers and remembering you're having a narrower piece and a wider piece and then again if you 
tap it on the table, you will then get a nice flat piece to go on your pumpkin. Again, for doing any joining, you need to do your hashtagging, your cross hatching on both the places where you're going to do the join. And you need to get your water, dab, 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 and then press it, press it firmly on. Okay, so while you're here, you're actually really pressing this down nice and firmly. What I do find is that people spend a long time making their work and um, if they don't join properly, their beautiful pieces fall apart once it dries. So you don't want that to happen. The next thing you need is your pointy stick. And what you're going to do is just draw lots of lines on your pumpkin so that you can see that that is part of the growing stick. So here we have our beginning pumpkin. I'm going to put it to the side to dry for a little bit and, and then we can carve into the pumpkin. Next up, with your pointy stick, you want to draw on the face. So look for the nicest side that you want to have a face on and get your pointy stick and create a nice face. Here we go, so here's my drawn on face and I'm going to cut it out. So here we go, I've got my pointy stick and I'm just drawing around those lines that I have made and I am popping out my bits of clay. So you can see, and I'm cutting them out. So here you have my little guy with his happy little face. I've also made sure it's gone up here, um, which is not what pumpkins do, but it is what clay does. And I always like to have a little telltale sign that this is made of clay and not made of pumpkin. Um, other thing I've done, is I have done a little bash this way so that his face is facing upwards rather than looking straight, uh, which means if you walk past you would miss it because he's quite a little guy. Right, and this one, I've got the little face penciled in and I'm also going to cut the top off so that you can actually open and close it. That way you can put very easily your candle inside um, or you can store things like sweets. And now that I've carved them both, as you see, do you do? It's got a little lid. Um, I'm going to leave them on the radiators. Very useful this time of year. And that will harden them up before I paint them. Okay. And then I might scratch in um, some more decorations into the eyes. Um, now I'm going to paint it with um, slip. Uh, the important thing when you're painting is that you start with the main color. So for both of these, I'm going to start with the main orange color. And then once I've done that, I can then finish off with doing, I'm going to do a dark green, I think, at the tops here, uh, and maybe some black for the eyes, um, but I'll do that afterwards. For the air dry clay, you can use normal acrylic paints. Um, and if you want to make it shiny, you can then put varnish on top. Uh, varnish would be normal varnish, or you can get a PVA glue and mix that with water and then put them on the top. For regular clay, you would need um, my little paints for colour slip. If you need to order any of my clay kits and you're lucky enough to live near me, please get to the contact details and order your own Halloween kit today. Mm -hmm.